what's going on guys welcome back to another video on the channel today i'm going to be showing you how to create a bot that can create a giveaway in any server without coding if you're new to this channel you might not know what scratch for discord is scratch for discord is a software that lets you code a discord bot with drag and drop blocks and it's really easy to code one so if you want to get started and make your bot with scratch for discord Make sure to watch the first two videos on this channel and watch the rest of the videos to learn how to become a pro at Scratch for Discord coding. So you're gonna head over to Scratch for Discord. Make sure your preview is set to 454 You're in your Scratch server and then go to home and press open Scratch. So before we get into giveaways, I wanna show you a couple of more things. So there are some new menus over here. Pre-builds is kind of like a save. This is a normal example of the ping command. But this is not really the advanced, it's just if the message content is ping, then it replies pong. But I made another advanced one, so if I want to save this for other use, if I want to use it more than once, or if I just want to save it for another reason, I can just go to pre-builds and click save pre-build as, and then I'm going to name the pre-build ping and click save and then you should get this message successfully save pre-build as ping and if i delete this then go to pre-builds then load pre-build i can there's a drop down menu and i can select build i want to load and then select it and then click load and then you should get this message and it will put in your code and if i don't want to save this anymore i can just go to here and click delete pre-build and select the pre-build i want to delete click delete and it deleted from the database and i can also download a pre-build download pre-build and if i press download then it's going to be saved as ping.s4d and it's just going to be saved as a normal s4d file so if i go to discord developer portal and go to the bot category i can copy the token and go back to scratch for discord and save that token so i don't have to go into the developer portal each time save token as and i'm gonna name it scratch for discord testing and click next and then the token that you want to save just do Control v to paste the token in and click save and then if you go to token database you can click load token and if you load the token select the one and it will copy the token to your clipboard so i can just go in here and click paste and then it pastes the token in and then again to delete the token press delete token from database select the one you want to delete and click delete there's also a new favorite category over here Right now I don't have anything in my favorites so it's empty, but if I go to messages and then get a random block, click add to favorites, and then if I go to favorite, it's right over here. If I right click again, I can remove from favorite. So I just created a command. This one doesn't need to be a command handler, so I'm gonna make a permission. You can make any permission you want if the member message author has permission. So I'm going to put manage server, else reply you need permission to manage the server to create a giveaway. But if they do have permission, we have to ask them a few questions. So go to the channels category and drag this block, the forms block. What do you want the channel to be? And make sure in the channel message channel and wait for answer from member message member during minutes you can set this to anything you want i usually set it to one minute if no answer is received i'm gonna reply give away setup was cancelled create a variable in the variable we'll put member answer set member answer to answer of member and if channel member answer exists so we're making sure that the channel that they put ex actually exists else the bot is going to reply that the channel doesn't exist but if the channel does exist we're going to create another variable and i'm going to name it giveaway underscore channel so set giveaway underscore channel to answer a member and then we're going to need the duration so go to channels again drag in the same block and put what do you want the duration to be s equals seconds m equals minutes h equals hours and it's so on like that and again in the channel message channel and wait for answer from member message member and i'm gonna set the variable i'm gonna create a variable give away underscore duration and i'm gonna set the giveaway duration to answer a member next up is number of winners so same thing send what do you want the number of winners to be 
to message member and in the channel message channel you're gonna set the member answer to the answer of the member and if the member answer is even or odd so this is making sure it's a number and if it's not even or odd so if it's not a number then it's going to reply that it's not a valid number and then lastly it's going to be what the prize is in the channel message channel and from mem message member and we're going to set the giveaway prize to answer a member and now you can just if you want you can just normally reply the giveaway is setting up and then set up the giveaway which i'm going to show you but i'm going to make it a little fancy so i'm going to go to messages and then put uh, send reply then so i'm gonna send reply starting giveaway so it's gonna send starting giveaway and then we can actually start the giveaway so go to discord giveaways category and drag in this block create giveaway on channel giveaway channel the duration will be giveaway duration number of winners giveaway winners and lastly the prize giveaway prize you can make these embeds or edit these text however you want and the rest of it the bot just does it itself it's built into the giveaway package so once you start the giveaway it will send the message on the channel itself and it's gonna make it so that whoever reacts to the message with a certain emoji then those people will be entered into the giveaway and then when the duration stops it will choose winners but i'm gonna show some of the other blocks so once the giveaway is ended you can re-roll it so you can re-roll it and then inside the id you can put giveaway id you can also edit the giveaway so in the giveaway id you would put giveaway id the time would be the new duration or the new time new number of winners and new prize you can delete a giveaway id and put the giveaway id in there you can end it you can pause it and you can unpause it and from now on i actually did this on the last video too but from now on i'm gonna be putting a download link inside the description so if you don't want to do all this work yourself you can also just download the link from the description down below also make sure to join my discord server scratch for discord world if you want you can share your bot self promote your bot share any code and get help for errors or if you have any questions about scratch for discord itself and with that that's it for today's video and i'll see you next time